Hello and welcome to Full of Food. In this video I'm going to show you how to make carrot and coriander soup. So I've got these leftover carrots in my fridge that are just sort of going over a little bit. So I thought what better way to use them up than to whip up a quick soup. I'm going to use my Ninja soup maker and blender today. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute but it's a great way to make a soup because you literally prepare it all bung it straight in and it does all the chopping and smoothing for you. So let's get started. Ingredients are some carrots, we're going to use about 400 grams, some, a small onion, a small potato, and then we're going to season with some salt and pepper. We're going to use ground coriander to add that lovely coriander flavour. You can use fresh as well, but just save it till the end. And then we're going to do this in chicken stock today, but you could use vegetable stock or beef stock. So let's get started on the carrots. Okay, so we need 400 grams of carrots. So obviously I'm going to peel these. So we'll just go a little bit over. There we go, so 460. So by the time the peels come off and we've got rid of the ends, that'll be about right. Really simply, we just want to get peeling these. So the great thing about a soup maker is you don't have to be really precise about things as long as you peel things and chop them up into roughly the same sort of size the machine does everything for you next up we just peel a small potato and then last but not least nice onion Okay, so there we have our vegetables for our soup. Just going to pop them into our soup maker. So this is a great bit of kit here. It already has the blender in the bottom, the blade, and so it's just going to heat and also cook your soup. All of that needs to go in. Okay, so next up, I'm just going to add some salt and pepper. Generous amount. You'll find you'll want to season it probably at the end as well and a little bit of salt. We already have salt in our stock, so we don't want to go too crazy with that. Next up, we've got our coriander. So we're doing a teaspoon of coriander in here. One teaspoon, obviously that doesn't fit in, so I'm gonna do two halves. And then lastly, we're going to put our stock in. So I'm just using one of these chicken stock cubes. We'll just roughly melt that. Doesn't matter too much with the soup maker because obviously it does the heating and cooking as it goes along. So anything you put in will get combined in as you go through. With this Ninja, it has a really clever lid and it has a really good seal on it. So you pop your lid on right down and then you can see this bit locks into place. So you want to lock that into place and then on the machine there's an arrow which you're going to line up making sure that your top's in and then we're going to turn it on and we're going to do a smooth soup with this one and we're going to come back see how it is and see if we need to smooth it anymore at the end. Okay, so whilst our soup's cooking, I just want to show you a really nice way to make a quick garnish for the top of the soup. So when you're peeling your carrots, if you can just take a little bit of care on some of the peelings and get some nice little strips there, pop them into a bowl. And what we're going to do is we're going to toss them in a little bit of olive oil, season them up, and then we're just going to air fry them between two crisper plates to just get some nice little garnishes to go on the top of our soup. So again, don't need to be too precious there. So there we have it, just some little, little peels there. And all I'm going to do is pop a little bit of olive oil in there. You could use um, fry light if you wanted to, or just plain vegetable oil. Give it a nice season. And then all I'm going to do is get my hands in there and give it a little bit of a mix. And then, just grab your basket of your air fryer and you want two of the crisper plates here because if you put these carrots in, they will just fly around and they can catch on the element. So a really good trick with things like that is to just use the other crisper plate 
to act sort of like a basket. And you just want to spread them out in the bottom of your air fryer. So spread them out as much as you can. Pop your other crisper plate on and you want to air fry them for about five minutes. You don't have to push that all the way down. All that's doing is acting as a barrier to stop those from flying around. Okay, so our soup maker's finished. It took about 30 minutes for that to complete. So all we're going to do now is serve it up in a bowl. And that's the great thing about using a soup maker is that it's all done. Look at that beautiful color in there. Those lovely carrots. It's all done for you. You just literally need to pour it out and serve. So we're gonna put a nice generous helping in there. And then what I like to do is garnish it on the top. So if you remember, I showed you how to do those little carrots. This is what they come out like once you've cooked them in the air fryer. They're all nice and crispy like little ribbons. So we're going to use a few of those. What I like to do first is just put a little bit of cream on there and then a nice generous helping of pepper. You can put salt as well if you need to. And then I'm going to get my lovely crispy carrots. I'm going to crunch them onto the top of my soup. They're really tasty. These are really good if you also want just a really nice snack. You can just make them from your literally leftover carrot peel, leftover um, potato peel. All of them work well. Pop those into the middle. And then I just want a little bit more colour, so I'm going to add a few spring onions on there. And my favourite, a little bit of spice onto my soup. A few chilli flakes on there as well, just to give it a nice little kick. So there we have it, a beautiful homemade carrot and coriander soup. Beautifully thick, beautifully smooth. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe for new recipes and reviews. Until next time, bye-bye.